Hey guys, what's up? It's Najib Basirun. Welcome back to my channel. And today, four artists will be using the same photograph as their main reference to create their final drawing. It's going to be exciting, it's going to be interesting. They can do whatever they want with the photo. They can edit them, transform them, add something to them, anything. As long as they use the main photograph as the main reference to create their final drawing. So this is how it all started. So first, I've sent out a DM to all of the Malaysian art accounts that I want to work with in this video. And fortunately, three of them replied back and agreed to collaborate with me. Those three artists are Dani, Sirka, and Liana Leong on Instagram. So stick around until the end of this video to meet all of the artists that we'll be featuring in this video. So what happens next is that each of us will choose a portrait photo that will possibly be used as the main reference. Here's what I chose. I chose this very eccentric, cool looking Asian woman. And here's what Dani chose, this very moody birthday portrait. And here's what Sirka chose, this very elegant looking young lady. And here's what Liana Leong chose, this tribal elder man in the forest. Very, All of them are very interesting choices in my opinion. Then we compile all of our photos and put them into an Instagram stories. And what we did next was we asked all of our followers to choose the best photo that all of us will be drawing. And after one day, we counted the votes and here are the results. With an astounding 60 votes out of all the other pictures. That is like wow, you guys really wanted this picture to be drawn. Now instantly after finding out that photo is going to be used as the main reference, I definitely felt a little bit, not, not a little bit, a lot of anxious emotions, you know? Let's see this clip right over here. Oh my god, it's 60 votes. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be hard. I've never drawn an elderly tribal man ever. This is, no, this is going to be a challenge. Oh, what did I get myself into? As you can see from that clip, I was really nervous and anxious to draw this man because it is going to be a hard challenge for me. But that's okay, let's focus on the next artist in this video, which is going to be Daniel. He is working under an IT department in an oil and gas company. So let's check out his process in creating an illustration. Hey guys, hi, I'm Daniel. So I've been drawing since I was two. I started off obsessing dinosaurs and gorillas. I never really attended any classes but I was exposed to some very talented people on the internet. I made my webinar account back when I was 10 and that was also the time that I bought my first very tablet. I started drawing and never stopped up until I was 16. That was when I stopped completely and I only started again uh, back when I was 18. Okay, so on to the painting. Now with this, I just tend to draw girls. So it seems I don't be clear with the facial structure. So, um, probably be redoing a lot of stuff soon, but this game, one of the great effects that I got was to not be too attached to the draw. If it looks weird, just redo them. Alright, hey guys, it's Najib. I'm going to be taking over the audio just a little bit due to Daniel's audio difficulties. So I'll be doing a summarization on how Daniel painted his painting here. He starts out with a rough outline, then some base color under the outline layer. Then he merged those two layers to start the blending phase. He picks the color by eyeballing it and uses a hard brush while painting. If he's not satisfied with something, he'll just redo it. Alright, that's all from me. Back to Daniel. Uh, in regards to the time taken, I probably spent around 4 hours on this one. In terms of this drawing here, I think you can see I'm uh, redoing a lot. It was pretty hard getting the face and hair. I'm not really good at imitating the lightness of someone, so I just usually go with the flow and try to render that as I can. And yeah, try to not be too serious with your painting. If something seems wrong, as I said, just redo them. Okay, to cap it off, my advice to you guys, I guess, yes, is to really never stop drawing. I think that's about it. See ya. Alright, thank you so much, Daniel, for waiting to be talking in my video. 
Don't worry, you will see his final drawing, all of our final drawing, at the end of this video. So stick with me until the end of this video. Before we meet our next artist, we'll be checking out on what I did first on this drawing, which was gathering inspiration. So here's what I found on Pinterest. So I wanted to manipulate a little bit on my reference photo. I wanted it to have like a strong lighting somehow and I wanted it to feel warm and magical so I went onto Pinterest and I typed in magical just like that and I found this photo that I really really like yeah so I'm going to download it don't worry credits are here I'm going to download it and try to infuse it into the original reference photo so I edited this picture and it looks like this now which is super super cool I really like that strong back warm lighting but that means my subject will eventually be a little bit darker but that's okay we'll see how it goes and yeah we'll move on to the sketching part so this is me sketching the elder tribal man I don't really focus on the likeness of the man because that is not my priority when doing an illustration. I really just want to get the main elements in there such as like the painting on the face and the body, the beard and yeah basically the elements of the man and what I prioritize in a painting is usually the mood and the feeling of the illustration. So I'm just going to finish off the sketch right over here and then I will jump straight ahead into the underpainting. Underpainting for me is basically just laying down absolute madness of colors that I want to work with like the orange, green, a little bit of the purples and then I will block out the shape of the old man. We will check back soon with my progress but first let's meet our next artist. Our next artist is Ajin. She's a full-time freelance artist and she has a very interesting art style. Let's check it out. Hi, I am Sirka, also known as Ajin. This is my first time doing this, so please bear with me. I'm not used to this kind of things. People would always say that my style is like a cult, worshipping Satan. So I just move it, I guess. This is going to be a cliche answer, but I've been drawing since I was a kid. But to be exact, I used to draw anime cartoons when I was in high school. I decided to take it seriously to develop my style after I finished high school. I learned by observing other artists, looking at their style, their work, the way they do it, I guess. And I also watch tutorials on YouTube. My process is quite simple, just sketch it out, the idea, or I would just plan it in my head instead. If I'm just too lazy, then I just transfer it to the paper and go for it. I kept on jumping to the hair, the face, the eyes. I can't really keep on focusing on just one part. My attention span is really, really short. The challenges that I had to face is that I was actually supposed to do it digitally, <laughs> but my drawing tablet decided to be a bitch. So at the last minute, I had to change plans. I decided to just do it traditionally instead. Throughout the process, I was able to learn how to be much more patient, especially with the hair. It took me probably around four or five days to finish it because I was too busy at that time. So that's all the things that I have to say. It was fun and hellish. Bye! <laughs> Alright, thank you so much Sirka. This is Najib and right now we will continue back on my painting and we'll see do I face the same struggle as Sirka or not. Let's go! Alright, so this is me painting now. I started to feel the challenge of drawing this old man because I struggled really hard to make him look old, you know? But at the end of the day, he turned out a bit more younger looking than what I was expecting. But that's okay, and the other thing that I struggled with was the texture of the hair. I usually just paint with a round brush, but when it comes to texture, I try to pick a textured brush. 
like duh, obviously, but yet I just couldn't find the right textured brush for the hair. So I ended up just winging it with like a rough texture brush I just randomly found that I think suits the hair. So yeah, I really just wing it and hope for the best. I really wanted the lighting to look magical so we sort of got this very heavy skylight going down onto the man making him glow and warm looking. Alright, as you can see from the background, I really 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 like what I did with the background. As in right now, it looks very abstract but then I decided to really ruin it by overworking the background and over detailing it and that's where I started to get anxious and I feel I don't know I, f I, I felt like I set myself up to fail so I really just needed to take a break from the day and I recorded myself talking about this so yeah let's check it out yeah this is getting I, I think I set myself up here <laughs> for putting like a lot of creativity into this uh, illustration but alright let me pause here real quick so as you heard I was feeling quite anxious and I didn't quite know where the painting was going you know I had a I had a, like a visual of what I want but it, it's just not turning out as how I wanted it so I felt really like I was going to fail and I really don't know what to do at that day so I had to stop and yeah, before we see how I finish the painting, let's meet our next artist. Our next artist is Liana. She is 23 years old and she is also a full-time freelance artist. And you know the rest. Let's check out the process of her painting. Hello, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Liana and I love to draw portraits and humans. Uh, my style will be considered as realistic, uh, rough and full of brush strokes and yeah i like to draw digital painting and tra uh, traditional painting as well i've been drawing since i was little and i draw even more when i was start uh, i think uh, start diploma uh, because i have full of assignment which which makes me my my drawing skills will be even better uh, how i learned to draw i learned drawing from uh, can consider as myself from my college, from my friends and also drawing tuition when I, when I was a kid. Have I ever drawn something like this before? Yes, but in a traditional way. My process will be... Okay, first my first step will be I'll draw an outline, rough outline and the secondly I'll use a, a rough brush strokes which is like the colour is not like solid, it's like full of colors I guess it's, it's very hard for me to explain the third way will be I add on detail little by little and fourth I will try to focus the de focus the detail sec section by section for example first I draw uh, the, the details face first and then slowly I move to the chest the 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 hair the, the shoulder and all like that and the final layer will be I will play with color by applying a new layer of color dodge so so that I, I'm not like 100% follow the, the, the original reference yeah the challenge that I face during the making of this drawing actually when I was painting this drawing I don't have any challenge uh, did I add anything new to the painting uh, it's not like I add on the painting but I like to play with brush stroke which is looks slightly different from the first uh, the, the, the original reference and also I do have uh, play with colors a little bit. How long did it take to finish this drawing? I think around two days. Any advice for me, uh, for the young artist out there? My advice would be how I check the proportion and the, the details. I will just switch the, the reference, like flip the reference horizontally so that I can check that is the, the face detail or the proportion, the lighting, the shadow is correct and also observe other artists artwork and learn from their skills but not copy them yeah that's all thank you Najib alright thank you to you too Liana so now we'll be picking up right back where I left off in my painting journey so yeah let's go so this was a new day where I started it and I really wanted to finish it that day as well and my goal was to just sap try to separate the background from the foreground as best as I could. For me when I have really laid down all of the foundation of the painting like the underpainting and like 
just the simple rendering of the character that's where I would usually go in my flow state where I would just have like heavy focus and put on music and just try to render everything and take my time to finish the illustration. I really like the bokeh effect and I wanted to put it in the background but not too much you know. So I tried to balance it out and I think I managed to do it. Only at the end of the painting I only started to gain more faith and confidence with the painting because at first I really didn't have any confidence left for this painting and wanted to start over but then I continue with it. It is it's much more different than I expected but yeah it is I like it. <laughs> I'm quite satisfied with it. And now we will move on to each artist's final drawing for this video. Let's go! Alright everybody, give a round of applause for all of this artist's hard work and time to create this video. Thank you so much to Liana, Daniel and Circa for wanting to create this video with me. You guys gave me a lot of opportunity for me with this. And thank you for you guys as well because you guys have clicked this video and watched until the end. Give this video a like and subscribe if you want this as a series. Comment, let me know down below. And I hope you guys feel inspired after watching this video because my objective with this video is to make people feel inspired to create. And yeah, if you want to recreate this photograph as well, you can definitely recreate them. Let me know in Instagram, tag me or something. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye! I know that you're coming back home.